welcome to kinematics and dynamics laboratory the experiment that we are going to see now is the spring mass setup here we have the spring mass spring setup here and the mass is attached to a hanger the spring mass the pan of the spring mass is adjusted to the zero measurement that is this mark that's this 23 mark this is taken as the zero measurement after that uh, dead weight of 1 kg a dead weight of 1 kg is added to the pan suddenly and immediately for three consecutive jump the time taken for the three consecutive jumps by the spring it has to be noted in the stopwatch three so this is the time taken by the spring setup for three consecutive jumps for 1 kg weight next we are removing this 1 kg weight dead weight we are going to add the 2 kg dead weight to the spring mass system and the same process that is for the three consecutive jumps the time taken has to be noted with the stopwatch setup 1 2 3 so this is the time taken by the spring mass system when a 2 kg weight is added for three consecutive jumps next we are going to add 3 kg dead weight load to the spring mass system and the time taken for three consecutive jumps will be noted 1 2 3 so this is the time taken by the spring mass system for a 3 kg load for three consecutive jumps see here this weight pan it is pointing to the zero mark here when the weight of 1 kg is added the pan it's it points towards the 22 cm mark that is from the zero mark a variation of 1 cm is noted similarly when you add the consecutive weights of 2 kg when you add the consecutive weight of 2 kg the pan it points towards the 22.5 mark as a result from 23 this is the zero mark from here the pan has moved to 1.5 cm mark when a 3 kg load is added the pan points towards the 21 cm mark that is from 23 you are taking this 2 cm variation is noted and the calculation will be done as per the formula given this is how this is the tabulation for calculating the natural frequency and damping coefficient of a single degree of freedom spring mass system you have the mass added in kg square the deflection noted and the number of oscillation we have fixed it as three oscillations the time for taken for three oscillations is noted here the natural frequency that is the experimental value and the theoretical value it is calculated using the formula given here and the experiment is completed thank you